I'm Eddie Francis, and here's what I think. Apparently, black folks are in a position right now where we have to choose, all of us. We are all either going to go to HBCUs, or we are either all going to go to PWIs. And whichever one we go to, we are evil to the other type of college. You see, there's been a debate raging on social media for about a year or so, maybe a couple of years, about HBCUs versus PWIs. Historically black colleges and universities versus predominantly white institutions. And unfortunately, I've noticed that a lot of black folks have gotten into this position in which we are trying to make each other pick a side. Why do we have to pick a side? I mean, what are we going to start doing next? Are we going to start comparing which black alumni is more socially conscious than the other black alumni? Martin Luther King Jr. went to Morehouse College. Take that. Well, Shirley Chisholm graduated from Brooklyn College. Take that. My good people, let's deal with the realities of this situation. And I have five things that I want you to think about. Point number one, and some of you, you're not going to like hearing this, but it is the reality. HBCUs and PWIs are different types of institutions. I mean, listen, PWIs tend to be resourced however they're resourced to get whatever they need to get to serve their students. But HBCUs especially the state-run HBCUs, oh, they tend to be woefully under-resourced, deliberately, in my humble opinion, but that's for a different vlog. Point number two, while I do realize that the reality is that a lot of HBCUs just don't have the same resources as PWIs, well, for my friends who are academics, sit down, because you're not going to like this point. College is a business and the college marketplace is very competitive. The reality of the situation is that you've got to live with the resources you do have and you still have to go out there and you still have to compete. And so we can argue about HBCUs versus PWIs all that we want. If a college really wants to impress a student, they have to compete. Third reality. It's up to the student to get something out of the higher education experience. If the student doesn't use the resources available to him or her, regardless of how many resources are around that campus, then that student is decreasing his chances of success. But if you have another student who goes to a university that is not as well resourced, but uses all of the resources inside the classroom, outside the classroom, gets aggressive, goes after his or her dream, then does it really matter that he or she went to an HBCU or a PWI? Fourth reality, every college isn't for everybody anyway. Let's take me for example. I grew up in a black neighborhood. I went to a black church. I went to a black elementary school. I went to a black high school. And by the way, I grew up in New Orleans, which at the time was about 60 or 66% black. I was ready for different cultural experiences. And that didn't necessarily mean white experiences. I just wanted to see different types of people. And I believe I'm much better for it. But get this. There are a lot of situations in which black folks go to PWIs and the experience of diversity draws them closer to black culture. Fifth reality, speaking of diversity, I have a secret for you. Don't tell anybody I told you this. Not all black people are alike. At the end of the day, this whole argument about HBCUs versus PWIs among African Americans is just stupid. I mean, what are you going to do? 
you're going to have somebody who gets a full ride to a PWI and berate them for not going to an HBCU and spending money that they don't have to spend? How about you, PWI people? Are you going to continue to go ahead and insult people at HBCUs and then turn around and start screaming for black unity? How does that even work? The last time I looked, there's actually a lot of power in having people in the diaspora being able to spread in so many directions, into so many corners of American society. And that is diversity within black America that we should continue to celebrate. I'm Eddie Francis, and that's what I think.